Scotty, this is Malcolm Davis. We love you and we miss you. And uh, your loss is uh, great to us, as is the music lovers all over the country. We'll always, always think fondly of you and know you're at a better place. Uh, take care, and uh, we'll see you another time. Bye. This is Floyd Dakel, and when I recollect uh, the wonderful times I had, and remember Scotty McKay, the first time uh, was at the Sportatorium, and boy, what a great band they had. Uh, they had records out, and, and back then there were so few bands around that really knew what they were doing. They were certainly the first around here. Uh, we, uh, they, we used them as a model, and, and Scotty was always just fantastic. And, and when I think of the, probably the greatest rock and roll song I ever heard in my life, that should have been a billion seller and, and wasn't. And that was Rolling Dynamite by Scotty McKay. We're gonna miss you, Scotty. This is Angus Wynn. I had the pleasure of representing Scotty as a as an agent for uh, his uh, group uh, off and on during uh, the course of the last 20 years or so. And uh, but before that, um, I was a rank teenage fan of his, and um, I recall that he was one of the first people that I ever really got a chance to uh, to hear uh, in person here in Dallas when I was growing up in junior high school. And he had probably the wildest stage show. Uh, of course, we didn't have anything to compare it to then, except uh, Elvis on Ed Sullivan. But uh, it was he was the precursor of all the 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 big rock and roll shows that were ever to have come out of Dallas and he had a great band and a crew kind of like the crews that the rap groups have now guys standing up uh, dancing behind him and cutting up and whatnot and uh, it was it was quite a scene to behold and uh, rolling dynamite was definitely the thing that got everybody to move in in those days and Scotty I just want you to know that if you're listening in right now that uh, I want to continue to be your agent in that heavenly band and we'll see you soon. Woo Scotty I'm telling you this is Terry Thomas and son we really we're gonna miss you indeed I, I have a lot of very good memories of you and uh just one of the first really good rockers and rollers and uh, a lot of us are indeed gonna gonna miss you and and we certainly are gonna remember you and they're gonna be fond memories doggone i can remember uh, sitting in the floor and and many nights picking and singing and and trying to challenge each other on who knew the most songs great memories uh we're sad but uh scotty uh, just absolutely god bless you and we're uh, uh we'll remember you fondly hey scotty billy bob harris your old buddy man i guess if anybody was blessed to listen to you as much as anybody it was me from sitting in the floor at every place i've ever lived to the filling stations to the nightclubs to the churches it was a blessing that I got to know you, and you know, I guess I can say this, the heavenly choir will sing even sweeter tonight. Uh, selfishly, boy, I'm telling you something. Selfishly, we're going to miss you. I talked to Jim Grant right before I came over here, and he told me, he said, you know, when uh, when he first came to Dallas, uh, I guess the five Americans had just been formed, he said there was two people that had a great influence on his life. To let them know that it could be done right here in Dallas, Texas. You know, you didn't have to be on either one of the coasts or down in Nashville to do it. You could do it right here if you had it. And, uh, of course, they went on. That was the five Americans. They went on to the success they had. And uh, also talked to our good friend, Norty Johnston, who I've seen you sitting the floor with him. Terry Thomas, Lynn Groom, all those boys picking and singing for hours and days. And, and I'll tell you one thing. We were the ones that were blessed by it. And, hey, Scotty, the world, the world needed you. We got to have you for a little while. And, dog on it it was our blessing i'm telling you what you know the lord does so much for so many people and you he did for us now we're selfishly we're sitting around here feeling sorry for ourselves because we're going to miss you and you old rascal you're probably sitting up there looking down at us you know you always wanted to sing right between george m jones and elvis presley 
and I'm sure that's where you are tonight. Scotty, thank you.